Hey guys, what is going on? It's Mr. Sammy come here and welcome back to another video and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to get almost triple your FPS in game in Overwatch by just changing a few settings. Now a lot of these settings are quite obvious, they're literally just changing your video settings from you know medium to low but there's one setting that I don't think many people know about that uh, you know it decreases your video quality quite a lot but it will help your FPS if you are not playing on a very good computer so um, yeah right here uh, just to clarify something a lot of people m might think that you know having over 60 FPS is completely pointless in fact it's not because you know the higher FPS that you have uh, the more responsive your mouse is going to feel in game when you move it about and therefore the better your aim is going to feel and it's going to feel a lot more natural as you can see right here I am on 60 FPS at the moment and I am running, let me just go into my options here, I'm running graphics quality on low and I'm running everything else on medium, render scale 100%, medium, 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 on, on and uh, yeah that's pretty much it. Also guys before you try and uh, do these tips that you're, I'm about to show you, make sure that you have your limit FPS on custom and then 300. You don't have to have it on 300. You could have it on like 200. But I'd, I'd just put it on 300 to get the highest FPS possible. If you have it on display based, that's just going to lock it to your uh, your monitor refresh rate, which is probably like si either 60 or 144 hertz, probably. So uh, yeah, make sure you keep that on custom 300. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and change the settings. And uh, yeah, I'll see you when I've done that. Alright guys, so these are my new settings that I'm going to be using, uh, graphics quality on low, render scale 100%, texture quality low and everything else on its lowest setting and make sure to turn these off at the bottom and you guys have probably already tried this but uh, just to show you guys, it, I'm going to be running about 100 FPS while recording, about 120 FPS without recording. So that is about a 50% FPS increase right there, which is not too bad. You know, 100 FPS is playable. It still feels a little bit choppy for me, though. It is a lot smoother. I can I can notice that. But you guys probably aren't just looking to put your FPS up to 100 because that isn't, you know, you can get it a lot higher than that. And uh, I'm going to be showing you how you can triple this FPS right here. So if we go to advanced right here. And render scale is the thing we want to be changing. So you want to lower this. You can either lower it to 75 or 50. Uh, 50 gives you the biggest FPS decrease. Uh, but it also, it ruins your video quality. So let's just put that on 50. And I will show you guys what I mean. And yeah, it has gone extremely blurry and fuzzy and stuff. But as you can see here, we are running at 200 FPS. And I'm actually able to get a solid 300 FPS without recording on this so it does indeed triple my fps that i normally get when i'm not playing when i'm playing with a hundred percent render scale so i think it's definitely worth the graphics decrease like i'd rather have you know these terrible graphics than than you know the terrible fps that i normally get and it's a lot smoother and it helps out my aim a lot and uh, I don't know I just prefer it like this so you know if you guys don't want to use this that's fine if you like care about your video quality but myself I just I enjoy having the high FPS because I'd rather be able to play the game you know well and stuff rather than uh, you know have amazing video quality but yeah if this, if this did help you at all guys remember to leave a like down below that'd be really appreciated and I'll see you in the next video